to write the equation of the exponential graph, which has the form of y is equal to a to the power x plus b plus c. Now what I've done is I've used my graphic calculator and this is a screenshot of my graphic calculator. So the horizontal asymptote here is, this is negative 5. Okay, so this graph is asymptoting towards y is equal to negative 5. Okay, so let me write what's the horizontal asymptote. So that's always a good starting point. You always look at the horizontal and vertical asymptote if you have a, a vertical asymptote here. So you don't have a vertical asymptote, you only have a horizontal asymptote, which is y is equal to negative 5. Now, when y is equal to negative 5, that means your all the values of y is always going to be greater than negative 5. Okay, so that's, if you use your common sense, the, if you put any value of x, positive or negative, as x is approaching infinity, your y will be approaching 5. Okay, it will be always above 5. And when n, x is approaching negative infinity, uh, y will be approaching positive infinity. Okay, so uh, that's what you can see from this. So what is what else can you see from this graph? When x is approaching positive infinity, you can see the graph is approaching negative 5. That's one thing that you can see. Then when x is approaching negative infinity, y is approaching positive infinity. So these are the facts that you can see from the graph. So this may help us to find uh, the equation of the graph. So, and one other in important point here is the y-intercept. So there I can say when x is 0, y is 4. And I've got also one point when x is 1, y is negative 2. Okay, so from the y-intercept, sorry, from the horizontal asymptote, I can say my c, this c seems to be, c has to be negative 5. So let me make a guess. A, uh, this is not a guess, of course. I'm saying that this has to be negative 5. So the equation would be y is equal to a to the power x plus b plus negative 5, which is minus 5. Okay. Now I need to figure out b, a and b. I already found c. So I now know when x is 0, when x is 0, y is 4. So let me put this back in this equation. So this implies 4 is equal to a to the power, I'll write like this, 0 plus b minus 5. It's always good to do more steps and get things right rather than doing less steps and get it wrong. So this is 4 is equal to a to the power, 0 plus b is b minus 5. Now I want to uh, cancel this negative 5, so what should I do? I should add 5 to both sides. I'm adding 5 to both sides, so this is 9 is equal to a to the power of b. This implies a to the power of b is equal to 9. Now here, you should not jump to conclusion. Well, you can say, well, you may be excited and say, well, a to the power of b is equal to 3 to the power 2. And then you can say, well, a is 3, b is 2. Does the answer, the answer make sense? No, it doesn't make sense because when if a is 3, if a is 3, your exponential graph has to go up like this, okay? So here, this should not lead you to this conclusion, okay? So this is a wrong uh, conclusion if you go on this path. So leave, the, leave this result as it is. We need to figure out what is a and b by doing something else now. So we got one more point. When x is 1, y is negative 2. So let me write the equation again. Let me use a different color. y is equal to uh, a to the power x plus b. Uh, uh, we already know c, which is minus 5. Which is minus 5. Okay, minus 5. 
So now we know when x is 1, y is negative 2. When x is 1, y is negative 2. So let us put this in this equation now. So negative 2 is equal to a to the power 1 plus b a to the power 1. This is plus b minus 5 minus 5. Okay. So what will happen now? Okay, so now I'm going to add 5 to both sides. So if you add 5 to this side, you have to add 5 to this side. Okay. So now this will become minus 5 plus 3 is minus 2 plus 5 is 3 is equal to a to the power 1 plus b. Now the next step is a bit tricky. Therefore, I can say 3 is equal to, this I can write like this, this is a to the power 1 times a to the power b. Now this is a bit tricky step. Uh, this is nothing but the rule of indices. From this, you can understand this. Suppose it is something like, suppose you learn rules of indices, if it is x squared times x cubed, you know when you multiply powers, you add the indices. You know this is x to the power 5. This is same thing, x to the power 5, I can write as x to the power 2 times x to the power 3, or x squared times x cubed. So the same thing, this I have written like this. Therefore, I can say a times a to the power b is equal to 3. Now what is a to the power b? a to the power b is 9. So in place of a to the power b, I can put 9. So I can say a times 9 is equal to 3. I'm going to divide both sides by 9. So a times 9, my a and 9 looks alike. So let me write it properly. So this is a times 9 divided by 9 is equal to 3 divided by 9. So this 9 and 9 gets cancelled. So a is 1 third. a is 1 over 3. Okay, so now we're almost there. So now what if, what is that we know? Now a to the power b is equal to 9. Okay, so I can say therefore 1 third to the power b is equal to 9. Okay, now this is a bit tricky now. What would you do? So this, can I write, this is uh, 3, okay, so this is, how can I write this? So this is 3 to the power negative b is equal to uh, uh, this is a bit tricky step, so how can I explain this? So this is uh, 1 to the power, so this is 1 to the one to the power b over 3 to the power b is equal to 3 to the power 3 squared. Okay, now 1 to the power b is 1. 1 to the power b is nothing but 1. And this, I hope you can understand, this is nothing but 3 to the power negative b is equal to 3 to the power 2. So the bases are same. This implies minus b is equal to 2. Therefore, b has to be minus 2. Okay, this is, we'll confirm this. This is a bit tricky step. Okay, so let me write the final answer. So the final answer is y is equal to one third to the power x minus two minus five. Okay, so we need to use this to check our answer. So what are the points that we know? When x, y intercept is four, and when x is one, y is negative two. So let us confirm that. Okay, so let's get the calculators out. Menu, graph. So I will type in 1 divided by 3 raised to x minus 2, close the bracket, minus 5. 
and see how the graph looks like. So I need to change the scale, make it 10 by 10, and this is your graph. And GSOL y-intercept. So your y-intercept is 4. When x is 0, y is 4. And I need to confirm when x is 1, y is negative 2. So our equation is exactly correct.